On behalf of iFoam Organics International and the global organic community, I would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to Canada Organics Trade Association on its 15th anniversary. We value Canada Organics Trade Association as a member of iFoam Organics International, which is a 52-year-old movement to bring organic trade under one umbrella and promote organics around the world. Canada Organic Trade Association has made valuable contribution not just at the national level but at the global level, supporting iFoam and its work under the visionary leadership of Kia Loftsgaard and a hard-working team, Canada Organics Trade Association has positioned organics as one of the main solutions for climate change within Canada and around the world. We are extremely happy to have them as our members and we hope that in the coming years we will be able to work harder together and bring the community in Canada to support the work of Canada Organics Trade Association and also influencing policies in Canada and around the world with their support. We offer them a great success in the coming future. Thank you. Looking ahead to the next 15 years, our vision for organics is ambitious yet achievable. We anticipate continued growth and wider adoption of organic products by consumers from all walks of life. Our goal is to see organics become a staple in every Canadian's pantry, fridge and freezer at accessible prices. Ideally, consumers should be able to have organic options as a default choice across multiple products. This vision will require ongoing collaboration and innovation within the food industry as a whole and partnering with political allies to meet the increasing demand and expectation for organic products in Canada. There's a lot more that we think we can do and, and we as an industry can do. Uh, organic in our eyes is still the gold standard and we'll continue to do so and we'll, we'll continue to push for developing our uh, fundamentals within the organic standard. Nature's Path Organic Foods, our purpose is to leave the earth and its inhabitants, insect, animal and human alike better than we found them. We believe organic agriculture is a powerful tool for creating a brighter food future for all. In our 40 plus years of experience as an organic company, we've seen firsthand how organic agriculture can address many of today's challenges, from hunger and malnutrition to poverty, water scarcity, and climate change. Looking ahead, we envision an organic industry that builds on and honors the core principles of our movement, health, ecology, fairness, and care, to take cooperative action to make organic accessible to all. We aim to transform our global food system toward a way of producing food that engenders thriving, resilient communities and ecosystems. We see organic being the leader in ensuring justice, equity, diversity and inclusion across the supply chain. Diversity is and always has been a central tenant of organic, just as biological diversity is the foundation for healthy agricultural systems we believe that diversity of people makes the organic movement stronger, healthier, and more sustainable. We see organic being an, being an example and a guide for the greater agricultural industry, particularly as it faces one of the biggest questions of our time, how to address climate change. By championing and empowering others to use time-tested, ecologically sound and innovative organic practices, we can heal our soils and planet. Collaboration is truly key to realizing this vision. As we look to the next 15 years, I'm confident that with collective effort and dedication, Canada can become a leader in making organic agriculture the cornerstone of a healthier, more just and equitable food system. But my vision for the future is that I've been doing this 30 years, if I look at the next 30 years, from what I've been, I, I see the current rate of growth will be at nearly 100% organic, but that's not going to happen by itself. And we all need to work on it. We all need to contribute. And one of the things I think can be a big contributor in marketing is really trying to show people and tell people that food should be our medicine and medicine should be our food. And organic is organic production produces the kind of food that really is our medicine. And if we could substitute food for drugs, Imagine what a boon that would be. 
So we start to treat things that, um, that not the symptoms by putting band-aids on them and, and trying to keep people well, but actually giving them good food that actually cures the disease, particularly chronic disease. So that's what I see as the biggest possibility for the future. Um, and, and again, I mean, we've been neighbors forever and, uh, and the Canadian-American um, cooperation, we're both going in the, right, in the same direction, which I think is the right direction. And so I wish you very great success as you continue on here in um, Canada and, um, and join and happen to be a part of this whole movement that really goes all over the world. It's a worldwide movement. It's a worldwide problem that we've got ourselves in with all the chemical, industrial, food production, and we can get ourselves out with regenerative, organic, sustainable production and good food. You see a very bright future in organic agriculture as it represents a clear and credible answer to many important social issues such as soil health, food system resilience, water protection, animal welfare, and consumer health. As we celebrate the accomplishments of the past 15 years, we are also looking forward for the next 15 years of the Canada Organic Regime. CFI will continue to maintain its robust certification system, but also will make it better. We will be working in collaboration with the Canadian organic industry, with, other, with the other government departments, as well as our international trading partners, to continue to maintain the trust in the Canada Organic logo and in the Canadian organic products. We would like to see increase in the numbers of certified operators both in Canada and abroad. Our goal is to further strengthen the CFA import controls for organic products. And we will do this by continuing to maintain the current equivalency arrangements with our trading partners. We already have nine equivalency arrangements and we will continue to negotiate equivalency arrangements with countries for which we have market opportunities. I would like to say happy anniversary to the Canada Organic Regime and long life. Thank you. I hope that organic agriculture will continue to grow in the future and that the organic science community will continue to explore and validate the benefits of organic agriculture. We need the organic science community to continue to support the practices as, and provide alternatives to conventional agricultural systems. I firmly believe that organic agriculture is a model of a sustainable form of agriculture and that the solutions that the ecological solutions that organic uh, finds can be applied to all of agriculture to the benefit of all producers, consumers and the greater uh, global environment. As a business that has been committed to certified organic production and farming in Ontario for over 40 years, CODA is very important to us. They have offered advocacy on issues that uh, impact how we do business and regulations at the federal level. This has been critical for the development of the sector and for how we do business as an organic farm in Ontario and in Canada. Their advocacy has ensured that bilateral agreements with other countries are upheld, which sounds like a lot of jargon, but it actually matters to protecting our ability to farm in Ontario, farm in Canada organically, and not face unfair competition with product coming in from other parts of the world. So, Having a body like CODA that understands the needs of the sector and can rep represent us to the federal government is very important. It might not seem like a lot when we're day to day trying to do uh, business and grow crops and eat food, but that regulatory framework and making sure that it all fits together and is maintained and runs smoothly is really important and CODA has a vital role to play in that. Without sustainable funding for organics in Canada, we will stagnate compared to other jurisdictions, which are putting forth support and encouraging growth in the 
so we want to see that reflected in as well because Canada has that reputation already for purity for a high quality product which are many gifts. We want to continue to support that. So we need to see that support as well at the federal level. And that's our big hope. We want to see uh, support for the Canada Organic Office, for the reinstatement of a Canada Organic Office dedicated to protecting organics. We want to see expansion of CSIA's dedicated team for organics uh, to protect our borders, to protect the integrity of domestic product. I'd like to see the organic regulation adopted in Canada wide in all provinces, not just at a federal level, but at a provincial level too, because organic is for the local consumer first and foremost. And in some cases, they aren't yet protected by the federal rate. So that's the next step for us, is to protect everybody and make sure organic means something for everybody. The Canadian organic industry and the global organic industry have faced a lot of challenges in the last 15 years. And the fact that we've had CODA as an association, working with other national organic associations and with all of their members and government has been a huge asset to our industry. And I think will continue to be so for the next 15 years.